it going you wonderful people? Welcome to Staining Lodge. I thought a good idea for this uh, course vlog today would be, it's probably a bad idea, because I doubt I'm gonna be able to do it. It's can a 28 handicapper break even or break pie? On the back nine. See how this goes, shall we? Playing well today, playing well for the past couple of days actually. The swing's really working. So let's keep our fingers crossed, see how this goes. Left ourselves a nice little 60 yard chip. Uh, my chipping has been outstanding today. So, game on. One over through one. Christ, settle the camera a bit there. But the bogey on the last, that chip could have been a lot better uh, compared to what I've been doing today. Could have been a hell of a lot better, but that's okay. We're okay. We've got another part four next, 421 yards. The green is all the way down there, over that there mound. Birdie seed. Come on. It's safe to say, but a bit too giddy that last shot. That's all right. Could have made the green with that hybrid, but it's fine. We've got 86 yards left to the pin. See if we can make some magic happen. believe that last hole would have been a great putt. Three over. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Nothing to say about that last shot. The golf gods are not on my side today. All right. Currently four over through four. I'll be completely honest with you, on the front nine, I was playing outstanding, nearly level par. But I think once you get the camera out and start to worry about how good your shots are gonna look and who's coming up behind you, it takes a massive toll on you. I mean, I'm still not completely used to playing with the camera yet. So obviously, oh, setting it up, getting used to it and all that jazz, takes a toll on your playing, really does. For some unbeknown reason, I seem to like leaving myself with stupidly long putts. Well, I've got to get the practice in one way, haven't you? <laughs> Do 
I'm going to give myself credit, I really am. The, the long put I seem to believe in myself. The more I'm doing it, the better I'm getting at them. But when it comes to the really short ones, for some unbeknown reason, I can't get them in. I can't get them in. This was the par three that last time we played here, it was unbelievably windy. And by unbelievably windy, I mean 160 yards with a three iron and coming short windy. Uh, today it's not too bad, thank God. So we'll see. Let's see if we can get ourselves uh, get a birdie on here. Birdie'd be nice, wouldn't it? Come on, come on! If I can get a birdie on this hole, I want you to smash that like button. I think that's fair, isn't it? Especially taking my uh, playing level into consideration. Ah, let's get to it. Three hundred and sixty yard par four into wind again. So I think what we're going to have to do here is three wood. Try and get a nice little stinger going. Like I can do that. <laughs> yeah! Cannot complain. I don't think I've ever hit an intentional stinger before. But uh, it was the first time for everything. Love it. 